Hi, I am Dr. Julie Brown. I am your trained concussion doctor, board certified chiropractic neurologist. And today I'm going to talk about ketosis. I wanna talk about what it is, how to get there, why you would wanna get there, and maybe how to test it. So first off, ketosis is really a dynamic state in how your body is getting energy. We can get energy either from carbs or sugar or, or glucose and ketones. Ketones are a product of the breakdown or the opening and the letting of energy from your fat cells in the form of free fatty acids that get broken down into ketones. Both of these things can get broken down further into particles that can help stimulate energy in a cell. The reason I'm talking about ketosis is that many of my patients have sustained concussions, some worse than others, and I am quite curious to see if there's a metabolic issue as to the reason why some do worse than others besides the intensity of the concussion or how many they've had. And there is usually an energy crisis in the brain. So we want to make sure that the cells get energy so that they can break down the waste, they can bring in new supplies, they can do what they need innately, what our, brain, what our body has been able to do and no man can really replicate it. So ketosis is a state of being and the use of getting energy from your cells. And to be clear, I am talking about nutritional ketosis, not diabetic acidosis, where you have high blood sugar and high ketones. To get ketones, we typically need to lower our blood sugar, and it may take weeks and time, weeks and time, period, a period of time for our body to start making the machinery to break down these ketones. The American diet is not very good and actually quite high in carbohydrates and never really allows us to tap into our fat stores. So our body stops being efficient at making these ketones and breaking them down and using them for fuel. So there can be a transition of time in which that happens and you can have the, the keto breath that people talk about, the flu feeling. There, there's a lot of options that can happen with that, but know that it just takes time for some people. That being said, Exercise helps get you into ketosis faster. Fasting helps you get into ketosis faster. But I would argue that it depends on the person as to what is appropriate for them. Many times if I have someone who is not active, I don't say start exercising to do it. I say, let's focus on diet. Then as you get into ketosis, you may naturally feel this need to move and we can start adding exercises. But I don't primarily focus on that. Second is, so we have what is it? how to get into it, um, when would you want to get into it? So there's a lot of research with key, a ketogenic diet or lifestyle helping people with dementia, helping people with things like concussion, um, losing weight, diabetes. There's a lot of things that a ketogenic diet can help. Now that being said, I want to clarify something that I didn't. Literature wise, a kind of the general consensus on how to get into ketosis is to make sure that you prioritize a certain amount of protein to make sure you get this certain amount to sustain your muscle mass. And this is where I can shift. I can go to this medium to a higher portion depending on the person. And keeping your carbs really below 20 grams or zero, but below 20 grams in a day because that's really gonna shut off that glucose aspect. Now, some people, who have more muscle mass, already less body fat, that machinery to use those ketones can actually have more than that and stay in ketosis or have spikes where they get out of ketosis for a few hours and they get back into ketosis. It varies on the health of the individual and I think um, some people it takes more time than others to get there. Some people may never really get there. But when it comes to concussion, I have to meet people where they're at and it just, it may take time. That being said, I may add exogenous ketones to these people to help get energy into the cell. So it's, it's a drink that you can put in water and drink it to help get you there quicker, at least give your body the energy source that it needs in the form of ketones. One way to measure this, many people say, how do I know I'm in ketosis? One, you will just feel it. You generally can feel better. You could have um, change in the way your clothes fit right away. Maybe it changes on the scale. You can have bad breath for a period of time. You can have this almost like a high with the amount of energy your brain is just clear thinking. 
There's, there's different ways. You can also do blood tests. You can do breathalyzer. You can do urine tests for the first beginning part of it. Um, there's a lot of different options, but I generally, it depends on the person on if they need testing or if they can kind of go based on their symptoms. It just, it's very individual to how somebody is gonna follow through. That's it, there's a lot to ketosis, but if you have any questions, you can email me, website's below, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.